Hello and welcome to something new on my channel, where I start looking at a bunch of adverts. In this episode, I will be looking at this year's Christmas adverts and what I think about them, but there is something specific about some of the adverts, as well as many adverts from Christmas past, that I would like to point out. Basically, to make this point, I will have to go off on a tangent and therefore dismiss adverts for a bit to discuss something else related to the campaigns themselves. It does make sense to start off with John Lewis, probably the most anticipated Christmas advert every year. This year it features a monster called Moz, and it is about how monsters can disturb a child's sleep, just like in this advert. Every year there is a song which accompanies the advert, and it is usually a cover song from another artist, for example Half a World Away in 2015, but they tend not to be actual Christmas songs and the use of them in these adverts is where I would like to get my points through as this ties in with another video I made discussing this year's BBC One Christmas idents. Basically, the issue is that I do not like it when songs used in John Lewis adverts become associated with Christmas, as we should be able to enjoy these songs all year round, as radio station Magic Chilled would play these songs during the height of summer. But I resent Christmas pop-up sister station Magic Christmas to play songs from John Lewis adverts from Christmas past as they are not Christmas songs, and many of the originals came out during the spring and summer months when the nights are longer, and I do hope that this doesn't happen to the Clean Bandit and Zara Larson song after BBC One. A Christmas song is only a Christmas song when the lyrics mention Christmassy things. The problem I have stated here has probably been one since 1994, when Stay Another Day by East 17 was number one, when that for me is not a Christmas song. All they did was made the video more Christmassy. Though this song was not used in an advert, the same point applies. Back to the adverts now. Moz the Monster was not the greatest of the John Lewis Christmas adverts, in my opinion, and it is far behind Monty the Penguin, which was my joint favourite alongside The Wait from 2011, with Man on the Moon being my second favourite. Asda, similar to John Lewis and BBC One, have used a song with nothing to do with Christmas, this being Fleetwood Mac's Don't Stop. However, this advert is based in a Christmas factory, which is why I actually like this advert, and this fuss gives the advert a Christmassy feel. One of my favourite festive adverts this year is one for Amazon, not due to any music or story, but because of the singing boxes, where the tick on the boxes, which represent the Amazon logo, acts as a mouth to give the boxes some character. Just like John Lewis, Amazon have used a non-Christmas song, this being Give a Little Bit from Supertramp for the main Christmas campaign, and they did use Sheik's Good Times for a Black Friday campaign. Amazon was on to a winner, that is until the co-op came along, with this brilliant choir advert where people were coming together. The co-op did do something like this in 1979 with a St Winifred School Choir, so there are similarities with the past here, which makes me like it even more. Sometimes it is the simple things that win, as you can have all the fancy things and go all out in the case of Amazon with actual singing boxes, but it is sometimes good when just loads of people come together. I like the song used, though you may think why after the Battle of Britpop would a Manchester-based company use a song by Blur? Probably because the song goes well with the advert. The song used is Tender, again nothing to do with Christmas, though it is a really nice and upbeat song, despite the meaning of it in regards to lead singer Damon Albarn. This advert is all about community and the importance of it, which is one of the principles of a co-op, as they are all about coming together. Another good thing about this advert is that the co-op were different, and they waited until the 1st of December to release their advert. In a recent video I made discussing this year's Christmas idents, I looked at the possible influence of Christmas adverts on idents, especially with BBC One. 
But here I can look at the reverse, as the adverts for Aldi and Smith's toy stores remind me of Sprout Boy, who was on the BBC One Idents two years ago, as both Kevin the Carrot and the CGI Snot character go through similar experiences as Sprout Boy did. Some other adverts which aired this year include a nice advert for Marks and Spencer featuring Paddington Bear and a Disney-esque advert with a heartwarming story which may have also influenced BBC Creative for the shopping website Very. Tesco and Sainsbury's focus on the goings-on during Christmas with the latter going all-out karaoke. I do like the Sainsbury's effort and do find it jolly but for me it is a shadow of what was produced for the supermarket in the last three years, including last year's cartoon advert with James Corden singing, which was my favourite festive advert of that year. Another one I like is the McDonald's advert where a kid saves the carrots from her Happy Meal for the reindeer, and then the family return to get more carrots and a cheeseburger for Santa, only for the girl to remind her dad that Santa only has mince pies, so he only gets the veg. Maybe Mackey D's should do mince pies every Christmas, as they have done apple pies for a few years now. It is nice to see an advert remade, such as the Hellman's Mayonnaise advert, which has its roots in the 1990s. This modern remake features more live action in the background compared to the original, and it features its own take on the 12 days of Christmas. There is one Christmassy advert I cannot stand, and that is the one for JD. I do not like the whole nature of this advert, and I therefore would call this the Chavmus advert. Before finishing, I would look at one campaign which has caught the attention of the consumer this festive period in the UK, even though it is not a TV advert, and that is for Greg's for Bakers. This ad mainly caught the eye, as Baby Jesus was replaced by a sausage roll. To sum up, I am not a fan of this year's John Lewis advert, and it is not as good as the adverts from 2011, 14 and 15. But the same could be said about Sainsbury's this year in comparison to last year or the year before that. However, I still do like the karaoke nature of the advert. The main theme of this review, however, is that I find it a shame that songs used in John Lewis adverts are only associated with Christmas and have therefore become Christmas songs, when there is nothing wrong with playing these songs in July. My favourite, however, is a no-brainer, and that title goes to the cooperative with Amazon coming in at number two, though a distance away from the supermarket's effort with their rendition of Blur's Tender. I am Tim Goodwin, over and out, wishing you to take care this Christmas and for peace in the new year. Yeah. <laughs>